Hi everyone, this is Engineering with Brian. I'm Brian and today I'll be showing you how to make an icosahedron or a 20-sided die. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new part studio. And I'm going to start out by sketching on the front plane. I'm going to make a sketch uh, by making a line and dimensioning that line to be 25 millimeters and then I'm going to be mirroring this line across the top plane and hitting confirm. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to go to the right plane, sketch on the right plane and I'm going to be making the exact same sketch, drawing a line, dimensioning this line to be 25 millimeters and mirroring it across the front plane, like so. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to go to the top plane, hit sketch, draw another line, dimensioning it to be 25 millimeters, and then mirroring it across the right plane. and hitting confirm. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to be making three surface extrusions. So I'm going to hit extrude and I'm going to click on each of these lines and I'm going to extrude each line symmetrically by a hundred millimeters like so. I'll be doing this for all three lines. Like so. <clears throat> so I'm going to hide these planes. I'm going to go ahead and make some three point planes. So I'm going to hit this point, this point, and this point. So, like so. And then I'm going to be sketching a triangle with those three points, drawing three lines and connecting those three points. Like so. And what I'm then going to do is just go about and kind of keep making some three-point planes and sketching these triangles. So like so, hitting sketch, sketching on my second plane, and drawing three lines. Making another plane using these three points. Hitting confirm, sketching on my third plane, and drawing three lines between these three points. Like so. I'm gonna hide some of my planes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show all three of my original planes, and I'm gonna be lofting these sketches, and then I'm gonna be mirroring these sketches. So I'm gonna hit loft, click one of my sketches and then click the origin. And then I'm going to keep doing this for all three of my sketches. Like so. And then I'm going to make one more loft. Like so. So now I have made a part and I'm going to mirror this part across the top plane. A mirror, hit my part, and I'm going to mirror it across the top plane. Like so. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to mirror these two parts across the front plane. So I'm going to hit mirror, click these two parts, and then I'm going to mirror it across the front plane. Like so. So now all I have to do is fill in these areas. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to create some more three-point planes. 
clicking these three points, sketching on my fourth plane, and drawing three lines to connect them. Like so. And then I'm gonna make another loft of this sketch and the origin, like so. And then I'm just gonna be mirroring this again, mirroring this part across the right plane, and then mirroring those two parts across the front plane, like so. There we go. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side, making a three-point plane. Hitting sketch on this plane and drawing another triangle. Like so. Hitting confirm and then making another loft. There we go. Mirroring this across the top plane. And then mirroring these two parts across the right plane. And then I'm gonna make sure that I am merging all these parts together. So when you hit confirm, you should have three surfaces, but only one part. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I hide all the planes I have created and maybe the three original planes. And there we go. We have an icosahedron. If this video helped, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.